here on the Patawawa River 2022, doing the first whitewater trip. It's uh, July 4th, we're doing three days. We're working our way down from Lake Travers to Lake McManus. A uh, couple relative newbies on the whitewater here, but. 100% newbie over here. But we're looking forward to, looking forward to the adventures. It's gonna be three days working our way down, some flat water, practice some moves, and then yeah, hit a few sets tomorrow and the next day and hopefully come out of it in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, eh? It went from tailwind to a headwind. Like, how did that? How did that? Happen? I don't know. <laughs> how did the wind just suddenly change the whole direction? Just two That's amazing. We're off. Good, how are you? Excellent. Going down the river? Sure are. Wow, have a good trip, Thank, thank you, you very much. Enjoy your paddle. Yeah, be safe. Yeah, thank you. Should we hit it? Yeah, let's hit it, dude. Okay. Uh, your life jacket's all done up, all straps are done up. Yes, sir. Helmet's pretty secure. Yeah. Well, okay. this strip. There we go. Okay. So the rock dead ahead of us. Yeah. We're gonna start to just pile, just keep that on our side here. Yeah. Nice, nice. Draw left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. True, eh? It's a portage. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they, is that the camp? No, I don't see it. Okay. We'll, we'll pop off. Yeah. Pop up here and take a look. Yeah.
I'm trying to create a cinema here. Yeah. <laughs> there, needs to, there needs to be a narrative, there needs to be a story, so it needs to be like, you know, capturing us around camp. I don't know how much you put in. Oh, that's, yeah, that's That's funny. like loads, eh? Right. Yeah. So we're at the start of day two right now, and it was pretty rainy overnight, uh, but not as bad as we thought. It's still kind of muggy and humid. And yeah, just finished breakfast, getting a bit of a later start, but it's no rush today. We've only got about 15K to move down river. A couple big sets today, uh, Crooked Shoot, which we won't be running, but we will be checking it out. Uh, paddling maybe above it and maybe a little bit below it. And then Rollway Rapids, which uh, I have no idea what to expect, but uh, it's pretty exciting. That should be in the afternoon to look forward to. So we're just going to portage our gear to the bottom of uh, the campsite here at the bottom of Little Thompson Rapids, which is where we spent the night last night on a nice lovely site and then run the canoe and continue on downstream. So yeah, it's going to be a great day. Wow. <laughs> there is a party happening under here. Let me tell you. <laughs> wet anyway. Yeah, it's all good. Hopefully that's not us in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Just paddled by a little wrecked canoe there. First we've seen so far, probably not the last. Jim near killed them. Exactly. Just a little evidence that the the pet giveth and taketh. <laughs>
Well, I don't think I'm just going to the center here. I see if there's like a set of three rocks at the bottom at like one o'clock. And one just under us. So funny. <laughs> So we've reached the first of the three takeouts uh, for the portage for Crooked Shoot. Uh, we're deciding to run the first one because save us about a kilometer of portage and it's supposed to be a pretty straightforward class one paddle with a bit of class two sort of towards the end. And uh, then we'll be popping off at the second takeout and taking a scout and taking a look, probably portaging from there. Oh, oh wow. wow. He like shook his feathers off yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just careful. Yeah. Beautiful bald eagle. Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice Eddie out. It's out there on the far left, yeah. so it's a straightaway, and you can, I think you can see the sign for the second take for the third last take out. out there, yeah. Okay, so let's take oh, let's take a look. Hey, you got it. This is good. This is good. Looks pretty wild down there, around that's, the bend. That's where the fun starts. So we're here at the third takeout, the last one before the crooked shoot. And uh, we've wisely decided not to run it today for our skill level. Uh, overall health and well-being. Yeah, just valuing, you know, the happiness of our loved ones and such, but uh, yeah, it's pretty gnarly. And uh, we were hoping that there was the stretch below the chute that we were going to be able to run, but we sized that up and that also was looking like kind of iffy. So we we're just going to, we're, we're going to pull up to this last take out here. We're confident that we can make it. The water level is not flowing too quickly and then we're gonna run the boats and all the gear across and just put down below the chute. getting assaulted by both mosquitoes and flies you're just like it's just like you know you're in in the yeah. thick of it yeah exactly
Oh. piece out of my paddle in my hand. Oh, the fleshy part of the pond. ourselves right down and regroup a little bit <laughs> so after taking a long long think and having a scout that probably lasted a good hour uh, we decided that we're gonna try and give rollway rapids a go and uh, we've scouted it pretty carefully picked out a couple lines broken it down into a couple manageable sections gonna be going through trying to stay mostly to the right for the first couple of sections, uh, back paddling hard, avoiding the sort of big waves, staying closer to the smaller water, closer to the right shore, and then hopefully there's a pretty good eddy that we can catch on the right shore from there, regroup, get back to our center line, center left sort of, over the big ledge and then sort of down the center channel, dodging a couple big boulders and into the home stretch. So, she's a meaty rapid. We'll see how she goes. Okay, buddy. Okay, man. Nice and easy, all right? Nice and easy. Be vocal, okay? Yep. Whatever you need, say it loud. I will be vocal and loud, and you give me your eyes if you see stuff that I'm not seeing that's ahead. Okay, buddy. See, there's a small rock jutting out at like 12 o'clock, tiny one? Yep. We're gonna just come in just to the side of that. Just to the left of it. Yeah, just All to right. the left of it here. Okay, let's slow the pace. All right, buddy. Okay, let's go. Uh, cross bow draw. Cross bow. Okay. Front, left side, left side. Okay. It's all right. Okay. I'm going to turn it right. Lean right. Okay, we see the idea what we see the, the, the flag you say. Nice, nice, okay. Alright. Okay. Rock, rock, yep. rock. Right hand side, you got it. Yep. Slow the face, slow the face. Good man, good man. Yeah. Okay, you set that eddy on the right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, tilt right, tilt right. Stay tilted. Nice, nice, nice. Paddle, fun side paddle. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Woo! Uh, up there, 
obviously things didn't go to plan there. Things did not go to plan. Holy that moly. Was sick, dude. All right. The second birch there. That's the ledge. We gotta get to our left. So we're gonna be joining into the current here, okay. eddying in. Once we do that, you start drawing on your left. Okay. If we're right. needing to get over to the left, yeah. and I'll pry off gotcha. and we'll try and side slip over to, gotcha. line up, to, line, to get our line going, you okay. know? Okay, all right. And you, you remember the line from the left going to the right. Yeah. Center left going to center right. And then after that, we're following that kind of meaty, dark center line. Be ready to brace going over the edge, okay? okay. If it's if, if it's like, if it's if it's looking like we're not hitting that line exactly, like. Yeah. How do you feel, like, buddy? I feel okay. Tilt, hold the hold the tilt, hold the tilt, hold the tilt right. Yeah. Yeah. Grab that rock for this chance here. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh my god. Okay, give me the paddle flap now, buddy. Yes, baby. Not a textbook run, but a first run <laughs> without swimming it. What Holy do you mean? Fuck. That wasn't textbook? Oh man. It would not be possible to take on any more water <laughs> than this canoe has taken on. Holy. Uh, yes, that will make it easier. I think, yeah, your strong hand will be. Yeah, yeah. All right, buddy, nice and easy. Ankle? Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Really fun, really challenging day of river running. I'm really liking the look of that thing. Lower notch.
That's delicious, man. Mm. I haven't been doing a lot of reading. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've been uh, working my way through Pale Fire, actually. Well, I don't know. I'm not, yeah. Not, yeah. Like, Pale Fire is the only book that I can recall that I ever... I, I reread it immediately after I finished uh -huh, reading uh -huh. it. Yeah, I can tell it will be like that for me. I like to read a book first time through, see what I can parse out from it, and then I'll maybe like read up on it a bit and go back through it. Yeah. sun has decided to show its face today which is very very welcome and the place where we camped here the Natch is just incredibly beautiful and special spot on this river and totally worth taking the time to explore there's a hiking trail that ran just near our campsite that goes up to the top of these cliffs that are about 100 meters high and just give just a towering view out over the river and just an amazing, amazing spot to just go up and sit and take it all in, which we did and just, yeah, feeling great, feeling loose and just ready to just take on a few more easier but really fun rapids today. Oh, that breeze, man. Yeah, so welcome. Oh, like the breeze in the sun. Just like... There, you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> just covered in yeah. bugs yeah. from head to toe. Yeah, it was just a, just like a bug film. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Yeah, 
Jadi So we're just coming to the end of our third day here. Uh, we paddled down Schooner Rapids, five mile raps, and Bajoni here sterned and had himself a blast. 
and it was a really great chill way to to sort of send out what was a really great trip and we've rolled down onto Smith Lake and found ourselves a nice little spot got ourselves the fixings for a nice fire which is just getting put together right now and yeah feeling great feeling tired feeling ready to really enjoy the last night of what's been a really nice trip is some rice. Lovely. <laughs> there's black curry. There's pita if we want. Incredible, buddy. So, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. No. Wow. Delicious. and stuff like that. Okay. Like, yeah. It's like a it's like a camp that count and then he was like a trip counselor there for a couple of years. Oh no way. Stuff. Yeah. Wow. Like doing like doing yeah, doing like the multi weight or like the you know multi day or like yeah, yeah. long trips. Never would have thought. Yeah. Oh no John John does we had a bit of an unexpected development. We had a nice, beautiful morning paddle out and got back to the takeout here and we realized that we left the other set of car keys in my car up at the top of Traverse there. So that was a kind of pretty rookie mistake that we made. And so we hummed and hawed, went back and forth, tried to reach my parents on the Garmin to see about getting a CAA truck and then eventually flagged down a, a park ranger truck that luckily came along and they decided to whip Andrew back up top to Traverse. He's gonna grab my car and I'm sitting here relaxing in the shade and hanging out with a book and just waiting on that to happen. But pretty, <laughs> pretty funny, pretty hilarious and pretty stupid on our part all around. But the first river trip, these are the kind of uh, silly things you do, so. Uh, lesson learned for next time. Petawawa, great trip. Remember your car keys. Peace. <laughs>